This is where my grandpa was, or is, I should say. Sammy Hooper Sr. This is where it started. Grandpa Hooper, Sergeant, Army, World War II. Okay. 1989 is when he passed. Now, I was a year old when he passed because I was born in 88. So I hope he had a chance to hold me and kiss me and stuff like that. And I'm sure I'll meet him one day. And let me show y'all something too, right? And I'm just leaving a little card here because my my dad is buried here too. So I'm leaving a little card. Um, that was supposed to be on Father's Day, but things that came up. So I was in the area like, you know what? Let me just drop it off now. Let me show y'all something. I'm gonna cut for a second. So, you know, it was crazy, right? And I didn't really know until I was like walking around the cemetery. I don't want to show people's business. Let me see. So I have ancestors that are here at Franklin. Here they are. Franklin Memorial Park in Franklin, New Jersey. I don't know if y'all can kind of see it. I ain't got that much light right here. But we got Wes Hooper. Y'all see that? Wes Hooper and his wife, Fanny Hooper. Damn, they got leaves all over this thing. So look at that, Fanny Hooper. And if it's, it's a little, I'll read it out. But Wes Hooper, so Wes Hooper was born during Reconstruction of slavery, okay? And then he met his wife and they were buried together. She was born in 1893, she was he was born in 1886. So they was 7 years, he was 7 years older than his wife. So when people be talking about, "Oh, you know, you shouldn't be dating nobody that young and this and that, da da da." da. Listen. Older men have been dating younger women for a long time and you see they were married and buried together that's real love and this was during reconstruction okay Wes Hooper and Fanny Hooper I'm not sure which part of the tree they are but they were when you think about it they were married when we had less rights less opportunity less education Still fighting for humanity as a black man and a black woman. And people were getting married during those times. So why is it now in 2020, we have less rights. I mean, excuse me, we got more rights, more education, more money. Okay. The black dollar is the heaviest consumer dollar in America. Okay. And we can't even stay together. We're not staying together when the baby comes. The black woman is the first divorce, last to get married, last likely to get married. And we got black people back in the in reconstruction getting married and buried together. How did they even they even found money? Their family found money. My excuse me, I should say my family back in those days found money to bury them together. You know what I mean? Got some nice tombstones that lasted it's gonna last for two, three hundred years. But we got black people out here. We're so divided. We're not staying married. We're not, we don't want it, nothing to do with each other. The black man is not staying with the black woman after the baby comes. The black woman ain't staying with the black man because his money is always funny, whatever the case may be, for whatever reason. And I got ancestors that are staying together. That's real love. I'm not marrying the chick unless she's down for that, okay? But I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, just make sure you visit all your family while they're here, no matter what. But, all right, y'all, y'all be good. I'm out.